I texted her and she didn't respond. I called her and she didn't pick up until it went to voicemail. And then I remember that I had her mother's numbers and I started calling her and no one was picking up. And at this point, I'm just, I'm panicking. I'm like, something happened. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, a channel for young Christian minds. Welcome back brothers and sisters in Christ. So today is going to be a little bit of a story time. I just wanted um to share with you my experience with friends well specifically with my best friend and how that broke me and that how that experience made me not to want to have friends anymore so i hope you can relate to this and you can also share your experience with friends or your best friend um you can comment on the on the comment section and just tell us your story so um growing up i never had a a best friend i never had just one friend i was always that person with a group of friends like as long as i can remember from grade one i think i've had a group of friends and by a group of friends i mean like five six seven people i've always been that girl until grade 11 grade 11 i met this girl actually it was it was weird because i actually liked her friend not her but i ended up being friends with her so we just we just met in a weird way because we were in the same class but we we had never talked or have a conversation until one day we were chosen to go and represent our class in a funeral of one of our learners in the class and then we we were chosen to go together with the class teacher um, and that's when we we first started just having a conversation we started talking and from there i think we just clicked and we we started talking um, the following Monday and we started talking during the week in class and just being like, hi, uh, I got you this, I got you that, and all during lunch. Fast forward to grade 12 where our relationship, our friendship started to be really strong and solid. And um, in our matric year, we had decided that we want to be friends and we are doing this, right? We had that best friend goals kind of thing. And we were so, we were so close. Like, I really... I really felt like I have a sister. I was I was so comfortable with that friendship and it was my first time having something like that since I said I had a group of friends. Even though in those in those group of friends I usually had someone that I, I felt like I relate to more. I felt like we are more we had more connection with that person than the rest of the group. But it was my first time having just a one on one friendship. And I knew I knew this is where I wanted to be. I knew I wanted her to be my friend, my best friend. I knew I wanted that title of her saying I'm her best friend and she's my best friend and we are doing this friendship thing. And it was so good. And we we had different personalities because I'm I'm loud. Like I'm so loud. But she she's she was more calm than me. But our friendship just worked. We had a lot in common. We just clicked. That's all I can say. We just clicked. She liked geography and she wanted to be um, a, a geologist, I think, or a geography teacher. We had, I know what she liked. She know what I liked. We, we got to a point where in just that year, we had a relationship that was so fast that we had learned it had, it, we had learned each other a lot that i knew how she would re react to this situation and she knew how to react to this situation um and then we finished metric and then we the following year obviously we went our different ways i was staying in second at that time and she was staying in case at end but i was so shocked on how the connection was still there we we still checked on each other each and every single day we were like hi friend are you doing good how is the new place do you have new friends now we we, we still had that connection and on on march on on june june holidays um we decided we we wanted to create some memories even though we we now far apart but we wanted to create memories every time we met and we decided we we're gonna um buy t-shirts and have them printed and also have a photo shoot with those t-shirts um, I actually have the t-shirt here I hope you can see so the message the rest of the message says nothing makes sense when promise and no money are apart so literally when I'm alone and when she's alone the t-shirt doesn't make sense as you can see it says nothing sense 
promise are so it only makes sense when we are together so we, we bought this t-shirt we had them printed out and we had that photo shoot it was fun we had we had that connection we had that we were like it was so beautiful it was so beautiful to experience and then the following year came another june holidays came and we, we planned before the actual june holidays came we planned over the phone um friend i think we should do a pajama party and she was like we're we gonna do a pajama party i'm like we can do it at home i can talk to my mom and then we planned everything and then we we decided to invite other friends our high school friends because we figured it was going to be boring boring for us to be just alone because we wanted and a kind of party more than just a sleepover um and we decided we're gonna buy games so that it can be more fun and i bought this game um it's called sequence i bought this game for that pajama party this is how it looks on the inside it also has cards and also there's different kinds of chips i bought this game and we, we, we continued planning until i think a three two days yeah two days before the actual party i texted her let me put like that. i texted her i'm like friend i want us i want i want us to talk and just finalize the whole party thing that's like two days before the actual party and i texted her she didn't respond i texted her again she didn't respond i like i was like what's going on i called her and it just kept on ringing 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 and no one was picking up and at this point i'm starting to panic i'm like did something happen to her did she lose her phone like is she okay because it was just unusual of her to not respond to my text or pick up my calls and i'm not someone who calls whenever i call you know it's important or it's something that is just fast I, I don't call i never call so i figured when i called she would pick up and just know that i am i want something or it's urgent or i'm worried about her and she didn't pick up until it went to voicemail and then i remember that i had her mother's numbers and i started calling her and no one was picking up and at this point i'm just i'm panicking i'm like something happened like i'm i'm thinking the worst i'm like why is she not picking up my calls why can't I get hold of her? Something is wrong. The next day, I get a text from her. She's like, hey, friend. I'm sorry I didn't pick up your calls. A lot is just happening in my life. Um, and I wanted to tell you I can't make it to the pajama party. Um, but you can continue and just have the party with the other girls. Um, I can't make it. Um, I'll explain um, when I get a chance. But right now, I just wanted to tell you. I'm not coming to the pajama party. I'm like, what, what? What is going on? So I replied to her. I'm like, friend, I, I'm, I'm so angry that you decided to tell me a day now, a day or hours before the actual party. And this was our thing. We planned this together. We were the ones who were hosting. I had already told my mom to go somewhere so that she can leave us with the house. I had already planned everything, bought this game with my own money, prepared everything, and she's just cancelling on me like that. And I'm just like, I'm really not happy um, on how you handled the situation. You could have just told me. Um, I was angry. And then I cancelled the party. Uh, no, I actually heard I, I actually heard from her three days after the day of the party had passed. So I cancelled the part. I was like, I'm not about to have this party. This is our day. It was our thing. And when you're not there, I'm not about to have the party. I can't tell, tell the other girls. We can't have it. It's fine. And then I think three days after that, she texted me. She's like, Fred, um, I know you're probably still angry with what I did. But just um, my life is a mess right now. A lot is happening. Um, but when we go back to johannesburg i want us to meet and we can just talk and i will explain everything and i'm like okay um i was still angry and that was the last time i heard from her can you believe it literally like that was the last time and from there i don't know if she blocked me or she changed her numbers but i think she changed her numbers like she didn't want me to get hold of her ever again because her numbers were not working i couldn't get her on on whatsapp i couldn't get her anyway i couldn't my calls were, were not going through and i couldn't get hold of her and then a lot this year 
beginning of the year i heard from her like it had been a year and a half not hearing from her beginning of this year she texted me she's like hey friend i hope you're good um i hope we'll meet one day and just talk and and yeah i hope everything is fine with you i miss you i miss us and i was just not having it i was not having it because one i was i was angry because she didn't trust me enough to be there for her in whatever that she was going through and secondly when she had fixed whatever that she was going through she come she comes back and expect me to just jump and i was i was devastated when she blocked me or whatever that she did when i couldn't get hold of her it it was so hard for me to actually accept that the relationship is over the friendship is over because i was like is it possible that it's over just like that like is it possible that she just wanted to remove me out of her life just like that did i do something wrong you know that part where you're just questioning yourself and you're like did i do something wrong what happened what, what is going on and I, there was no one to ask because she had just blocked me from everywhere and i couldn't get hold of her and when she came back you could tell from her text that she didn't understand how much how hurt i was with the situation and how she made me feel and how she made me question myself and question um how i loved her how our relationship was did i say something wrong did i do something wrong did she hear did she hear something about me what is going on and then when she came back i could tell from a tech that she expected me to just jump and be like okay now you're good you have fixed whatever that you were going through, going through let's just move and i was not having that i was really not and honestly i have forgiven her i love her a lot and i i appreciate her for the experience she gave me of having a best friend i appreciate her i appreciate her for the love she gave me and how she was there for me and how she supported me i will forever be grateful for that experience with her i'll forever be grateful for what she she was in my life but i was i was not having it i was i was not about to just pick up where we left off and with that experience i now don't want to have a best friend ever again that's how hurt i was that's how disappointed i was with her with just leaving me with so many questions and it's not only that experience even with my other friends the things they did they just piled up to a point where i was like when this happened i was like you know what i'm done i don't want to have friends anymore even in in at this point in my life i don't have someone i call a friend i don't have someone where i confide in i don't have someone who who knows my ups and downs i my only friend my only best friend right now is my sister and i i don't want to have friends anymore because of that experience until this day i i still ask myself what happened why would she do that to me why would she just disappear on me like that and and don't even think what would that do to me because she knew how much i loved her and she knew how much i valued our friendship so i just wanted to share that with you friendships are very difficult they are very difficult because people can just decide to do whatever they want to do and just don't think for the next person and you 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 can have a worse experience than mine but for me that's when i draw the line and i am still healing and still trying to open myself up for other people who can want to be my friends and because of all the experiences i've had with friends i'm just now closed off i'm like i don't want any friend we can be just people who know each other people who work together or people who go to school together go to the same class together but i don't want to call you my friend i don't want to call you my best friend i don't want you to come that close to me because of the experiences i have had so i wanted to close this video with this verse um from proverbs chapter 18 verse 24 it says there are friends who destroy each other but a real friend sticks closer than a brother. I, I just wanted to share that verse and also to tell you that whatever experiences you've had with friends, whatever hurt you have had with friends, whether your friend um, dated your boyfriend or 
did something horrible but you can always count on jesus and the bible says he sticks closer than a brother as this verse says a friend sticks closer than a brother and jesus calls himself our friend which means he sticks closer than a brother you can always count on jesus you can always have him as your friend although you want physical friends here on earth you can just have colleagues you can just have but you need to heal from that and i have healed from this experience i have forgiven her i have healed from what she did to me but i have decided that i don't want friends anymore and i'm still praying about it and saying to god if that this decision is just drastic and it's out of hurt and pain please help me to heal completely so that i can give other people a chance to be my friend but one thing for sure you can always count on jesus and he sticks closer than her than a brother so i just wanted to share that story with you and i would love to hear your stories with your friends and how friendships have been treating you ever since so thank you for watching this video thank you for taking your time to actually listen listen to this story i hope you can relate i hope it helps you thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe um until we see you next time see you on the next video don't forget jesus loves you bye